we can't gain. That's why we can't advance. Because we're always looking at the honey. Uh -huh. Instead of looking at the God. Amen. Amen. But one thing I like about God, he brought redemption to Samson. Yes, he did. Even after his eyes got gouged out mm -hmm. for not doing what he ought to do. Yeah. But God still had an initial plan. Yes, to yes. penetrate the Philistines. Yes. And he used Samson. And Samson would have kept his eyes because it was Samson's choice. It wasn't God's choice. God wanted to use Samson as a conduit to invade, amen, amen, the Philistines. But it was Samson's choice to hook up with Delilah. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's and right. he did not heed. And he kept allowing him to press him and to press him. And sometimes that's what the enemy do. He'll keep pressing your brothers. He'll keep pressing your sisters in areas of your life when you give in. Uh -oh. Then you become weak in your walk with God. Yeah, yeah, now you start yeah. negotiating when you're going to read the Bible. I don't have time. I'm, I'm working hard. You, you know, I don't work all these hours. Got to go pick the kids up. And, and, and these excuses sound so legitimate. You heard what I just said? Excuses because they still excuses. Amen. They sound yeah. so legit. My son had band practice and my son had football and, and we had to work and we had to do this and we had to stop by Wendy's and we had to stop by McDonald's and it's been a long day and, and we short over here and we short over there. But it's so it's some things that you ain't short on that you so come on the bottom. Come on, come and on. And you make it your business to do. All right, all right. But that's why we gotta be careful, saints of God. Yeah. 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 Amen. We put our hands to yeah. yeah. Because everything that looks good and tastes good ain't good. Yeah. All right. And sometimes you don't find out until you digest that thing. Yeah. You digest that conversation. You digest that mental psyche. When you digest that situation and that circumstance, then you got an upset stomach. You ever ate some food that was bad? Then all of a sudden, you got diarrhea running out your leg. You almost scared to pass gas that you will have a spill in the, in, the, in the toilet seat. So you trying to run like this and try to get out. And you feel like it's coming. Come on, somebody. So we must be in the spirit the same way we constipated. First Peter 2. Yeah. 11. I'm breaking this in. Glory, I'm <laughs> Beloved, I urge you as sojourners. See, sometimes we forget that we're sojourners. Oh, we live like we're going to be here forever. Oh, we live in our best life and our this life and that life. But this is what Peter says. Beloved, Beloved, I urge you, I command you as sojourners and exiles to do what? To abstain from passions of flesh which wage war against your soul. Abstain from fleshly. That means to hold yourself away from fleshly lust. Christians must be disciplined in the inward and the private way by avoiding the desires of the flesh. See, a lot of people like to talk about seeing things you can smell. See, I, I don't want really to deal with them too much. You can smell them, you can see them. But what about the evil stuff? Right. You know the stuff we've seen the hell? Not a pack of cigarettes. Right. Not a bottle of beer. Yeah. Did he just say that? Yes, I did. Yeah. The greatest sin outside of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, which you can't be forgiven of, is the sin of unbelief. Amen. The Bible talks about Amen. the things that God had that he called abomination of false balance. Amen. Feet that run straight to mischief. Hands that shed innocent blood. Backbiting, lying, conneaving. Come on, somebody, extortion of swindler, liars. These are the things you got to worry, worry about. The treacherous people. The people who work overtime. Come on, somebody. The Bible said they worry themselves to commit iniquity. That means they, they, they work overtime to go to hell. Amen. Oh, man, they work hard. The Bible just said, Jeremiah 9 5. They worry them. In other words, they wear themselves out. Uh, trying to figure out a plan to make your life worse. Uh, Didn't I just read the story with Samson? Yeah. They paid this woman 11, 1,500 pieces of silver. Mm. That's a handsome amount of money. Yeah. Somebody gonna write you a one million dollar check mm. to go do some dirty work. Yeah. Now most of us, we, we think long and hard, Pastor. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> but one million dollars. I understand because I never had a million dollars in cash neither. <laughs> and I pray my strength in the Lord when I'm in my contestant. Holding this microphone. Luke 22 I think around verse 30 When Jesus was talking to, to 
to uh, Peter. He said, Simon, Simon. He called out it three times. Say it the man to sip you like we. But he said, but I prayed for you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That your faith will fail yes, you not. In other words, he knew that he was getting ready to go through a test. Yes. He yes. said, but when you're converted, yes. strengthen your brothers. Yes. See, sometimes you don't know what you will do until you get in it. Yes. So, I would never do that. I ain't going to never sleep with nobody else, man. You ain't smell that cologne yet. <laughs> smell it did, 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 did say that. Mm -hmm. You ain't never met the wrong type yet. At the right time yet. And that's how that's how tests come. They come on. The wrong type come at the right time. That's why it's called a test. That's why it's called a trial. Sometimes they come with warning signals and sometimes they don't. And I'm so glad with the news, hey man, they got the, the stuff to tell you when hurricanes coming and different things are happening. But sometimes some things don't come with a warning. Yeah. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Some things don't, don't, don't come with no kind of indication to let you know that danger is near. Hell See, a lot of us, we heard about the word hurricane, but we ain't think our house is going to get flooded. Uh, they tell you you're going to have 12 inches of water in your living room. All they said was just prepare for a disaster and to prepare to be without power. But nobody said prepare. Amen. For it may not be no money to be given to me after the disaster. Uh, Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Nobody never said anything about how insurance companies were going to do certain things. Uh, that's right. Nobody that's still right. just told you to prepare for that. Mm -hmm. You got insurance, but they ain't going to cover it because they told me that's water damage. Yeah, yeah. And they know they're clearly wrong, but yet it's still because the policy is legal. Just because something legal don't make it just. Right. You right. took my money willingly, and you see I'm in a calamity. You see I'm in a catastrophe, and you turn your way on me. Yeah. That's why we can't put our hope in the world. My God. You gotta My put God. it in God. Yeah. You can pay for policies and they still don't uphold a never worth of what they talk about. And then they got the egregious call to sit on the TV and act like they there for you. Then they got the commercials and these people looking like they there for you. As soon as you dial the number, they almost want to investigate you. You ain't investigate that stipend that kept coming out of my account every night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm tight, right? Oh, I'm tight, right? Amen. You got to be hard on all of it. Amen. Yeah. You got to hold the world to a standard. You got to hold it. When you're doing business, you better talk to those people like you're doing business. Right. Don't let a bank have your money. Right. Your money being deposited to that bank, and that bank can't do nothing for you. You got to go in there and talk, but educate yourself first. Do your due diligence. Then go in there and talk to them. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be afraid of nobody you're doing business with. You got to stand and talk to them. Yeah. Don't be afraid of them. My God. God is not giving us the spirit of fear, yeah, that's right. but a little right. piece of the sound mind. Yeah. You may not be educated, but call somebody that you know educated, that you that feel like you can talk to, have them go with you. Yeah. Jesus, God did it with Moses. Yeah. Moses was talking about he had a speech of heaven. What he said, I'm going to give you Abraham. Mm -hmm. But yet still, the, the charge was to Moses. Mm -hmm. yes, Abraham right. was the one that would be the mouthpiece yes, to right. some degree. Yes. But it was still Moses was the one that was going to be the leader to get them to the mouth of the promise. That's yeah. right. That's right. Leave the dead things huh. alone. Yeah. Right. Leave them. We got to stay away from the honey mm -hmm. because the honey going to get better and better. Mm -hmm. But these are tests. These are trials. These are tribulations. These are circumstances. These are things that are happening. That's why when we see the dumbbells in, in, in the world of church, they go up and down. Don't get surprised, says God. The Bible says time draw near and many shall fall away. You just make sure you ain't part of the ones that fall away. All right. Or don't think you can't fall away. That's why you got, you got to make sure your soul is anchored in the Lord. Because sometimes God will use your sister, your brother, somebody, somebody close to you. Your own Bible. He use that uncle that you confide a lot in. He use that auntie that will help you get out of a lot of situations. You feel like you indebted to him, but not at this time. All right now. Because sometimes the enemy will, 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 will come like like a sheep, but he'll be a wolf. My God. You know what Matthew sixteen he says? Jesus was talking about how he was getting ready to leave, and Peter came and he said, "Forbid these things, Lord, that these things will happen to you." And he said, "You speak as men of evil." Men, men, men of you don't even you know what the things of Christ. He say, Satan, get ye behind me. Yeah. Because you don't speak of the things of God, but you speak of the things of man. Yeah. 
because he was interfering with the plan of God. Yeah. So you got some people that are coming to you and, and it, it may appear to be right, but you got to check the message. Check, uh, check the heart. Check, check. And see where it's at. See, that's why we got to disassociate. Some people, we got living in our homes. We need to get out. Yeah. You got to get them out, says God. Because in order to tap into the things of the Spirit, in order to excel, some weights we have to release off of us. Mm, as well mercy. as in the natural, as well as in the spirit. And sometimes that's one of the hardest things to do. Why? Because they're loved ones. Yeah. Now you can't just get rid of your husband and run out into the courthouse. I'm not telling you. That's to do right. That. That's right. Oh, I'm no, you can't do that. You married, you said I do to him. You gotta just deal with the bad and different and the in between. Amen. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. Their feet may not look the best. You just got to deal with that, too. Their breath may not smell the best. You got to deal with that, too. See, a lot of people, they want, they, they, they want the, the, they want the out extreme. They, they want the ideal of marriage. I want to be married. As soon as you get married, they, they complain about that. You better be careful what you complain, too. Because somebody be glad to get it. Amen, somebody. You throw them out if you want to see what happens. Because the Bible said in the end, there will be ten women. There will be almost ten men and women to one man. So you better be careful. Because the enemy is after headship, brothers. The enemy is after headship. The enemy wants to sabotage headship. It's twice in the Bible you will read that. You read it at the time of Moses. And you also read it at the time of Jesus when he was coming on the scene. The Herod had one of the sent out a decree to kill all the boy babies. And the same thing Pharaoh tried to do. And yet still, but God allowed his mother to have wisdom to trust God to put in the book. Yes, yes. To float on. Yes. It ended yes. up in the lap of the daughter of Pharaoh. Yes, right. It ended right back in the arms of the mother. Yes. Like now, and now we can say, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. 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 Let us not return to dead things. Amen. Some things it's time to put some dirt on. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it alone. Yeah. Dead friends, yeah. dead things. Because yeah. some people you ain't going to be able to reach until you let go of them. And quit answering their phone call. Quit trying to talk to them. Quit trying to counsel them. Quit trying to come on somebody. Sometimes you got to detach yourself. And be an intercessor from a distance. That's right. That was, the, that was the woman did with her daughter in Matthew chapter 15. She came to Jesus. The, the daughter, she said, my daughter's home grievously vexed with a devil. Yeah. First time, the disciples told her, sit her away for she cried with her. So you read the text, she number one, she wasn't even talking to them. She was talking to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> read the text. She wasn't talking to her. She was talking to Jesus. <laughs> then Jesus said, it's not me to get a children bread. Mm -hmm. They cast it to the dogs. Mm -hmm. But that lady knew who Jesus was. Yeah. She ain't care about what he, what he was doing, mm -hmm. but he was drawing on her faith. Yeah. And then the woman said, Yes, truth, Lord, but even the dogs, yeah. even yeah. the dogs, yeah. they fall from the master yeah. team. Right. And Jesus commended her for her great faith. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Sometimes you ain't got to be connected to them just for God and work on them and get them yeah. delivered. Yeah. Come on, somebody. All you got to do is pray from the bosom of your heart. The old folks said, I got a telephone in my bosom. Yeah. Yeah. And I could call up heaven. And God will dispatch an angel and bring deliverance. Some people got deliverance in the nightclub. Come on, somebody. Some people got deliverance while they were laying in somebody else's bed. Some people got deliverance with the needle in their arm, with the joint in their mouth. Come on, somebody. Some people were drunk as cool down and got deliverance. Come on, pray don't have no boundaries. God bless you. Good preacher. God bless you. Good preacher. Good preacher. Good preacher. Good preacher. The danger of returning to dead things. Leave the honey alone. God bless you. God keep you.